Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Kiki. Welcome to my channel. Um, this is going to be my first uh, video on this channel um, as regards to like any type of like beauty or hair related things. So I just wanted to quickly give you guys a review of this wig that I bought from um, Asteria Hair Company. So this is one of their frontal wigs. I bought it in the straight and I believe it's, it's Brazilian and the length is 20 inches, I believe, 20 inches. I think it's their longest one. Uh, the density is whatever the lowest density that they have. Um, I would recommend if you're getting the longest one, please do not get the lowest density like I did because I don't like the fact that it's kind of thinning in here like right up in there where I guess where the closure is sewn to the rest of the wig or you know however they do it I don't know I don't know I'm sure it's different from handmade wigs but you know just that you know it's like a little it feels like a separation in here and it's like well you can't see it now because I did a damn good job I wasn't gonna let that shit look bad but um I just don't like how it looks I may or may not put pictures of what it looks like when it really got thin right there I mean it really didn't get thin as well it did I mean it was already thin but it got a little bit thinner I guess when I like you know customized the frontal and everything like that um I'll get a little bit close up it looks a mess this is a um, quick little gel method um I got it Got my baby hair is gel down or whatever. So I didn't use any frontal glue. I used the uh this stuff right here. Got to be pre-spray. Well, this one first. Y'all have to excuse me. I'm new to YouTube. <laughs> I'm new to YouTube. I don't have all the little cutesy little intros and I don't know all the etiquette. I'm working on it. I don't want to stop anybody else's page. I want to just kind of be raw and natural, but I used this and this and blow dried it on cool and um, just put it on there. And honestly, I actually messed up the frontal. I actually cut it too much. Like when I first did it, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> when I first did it, when I first cut the frontal or whatever, um, this is my first time wearing a frontal wig too, by the way, or a frontal of any kind. So when I first cut it, I liked it, but I don't know, you know when you like do something and you're like, okay, it looks good, but I feel like I can do it better. So I, I feel like I ended up fucking it up and I, I did. I cut too much of the lace off. Cause if you get real close, you can see, you know, it starts right there and it probably should come like, you know, when it's properly like plucked and stuff like that, it should come down more or you won't have the edges. But luckily I was able to save it. Um, I wish I could have showed y'all the whole process because that would have been a dope ass like vid, you know video or whatever tutorial on like how to save your damn frontal when you cut it too much but basically in so many words I guess what I did was um since this the wig has a clip in the back I kind of just like how can I explain like I put the wig on like I flipped it over and I like put my head in it and then well before I did that I decided kind of to pluck it more but I determined that I was able to do that because when I was first when I first put it on I noticed that there's there's ample room back here like there's a clip on it so it's ample room for you to like move this up and down as much as you want and I just got my hair like not gonna show y'all all that <laughs> i got my hair braided down but um yeah so basically it's 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 loose it's like secure in the back but it's also loose enough so basically what i'm saying is i had room to move the frontal up even though i cut too much and so before i put it on i just took um i'll actually show y'all took these these are my eyelash extension um tweezers not the ones i use on my clients it's just an extra pair and i was like well i don't know i actually feel like if you have some of these or even if you don't you should get some of these like these actually do a better job to me because i feel like mm, ignore that crusty stuff <laughs> i feel like um 
you can you can pluck it better like it looks more natural than the flat ones like you might end up taking too much off so this one like i was holding it in my hand but i was like kind of like you know like that and it, that to me looks more natural um as far as what i think of the hair <laughs> so i like the hair but i will honestly say um it's not exactly what i expected from seeing all the videos i knew it was going to be some type of catch but being that it was like well shit, it was only like 150 so i can't complain but i don't care i spent my money on it so i was like what the fuck to me it's like it's like a good ass mix of like human hair and synthetic that's what it feels like to me because no matter how many times i wash it it has this like kind of like naturally dry feeling to it but once you curl it, it looks awesome. Like I, I've never flat ironed it. You don't like it doesn't really look good flat ironed. It. It's like kind of frizzy at the ends. Um, when it first comes out the pack, it looks good, but it's kind of like once you wash it, it's I don't know. And um, shoot, I use this uh, Garnier Fructis Moisture Lock. I always use this to wash my weave, so I didn't understand why I was kind of like. I don't know. Uh, the good thing is it doesn't shed very much besides like once you pluck the frontal and everything like that. Um, I'm going to show y'all the frontal. Like I said, this is my first frontal, so I kind of fucked it up, but I saved it at the same time. I kind of like over bleached it a little bit, but yeah, because when I first bleached it, I was like, I didn't see a difference. I didn't leave it on that long enough, but I was nervous because I'm like, this is my first frontal. Oh, God. But anyway, um, but overall, I definitely would say it's worth your money, but I feel like they need to be honest and because I know hair. Like, I didn't even have to burn it or anything like that. I've been wearing, like, I stopped wearing pack hair or beauty supply store hair when I was like 16, 16 or something. I know hair. Like, this is definitely some good human with fibers mixed in but anyway i one curled it on high did big sections now i'm gonna turn it I'm turn it i'm gonna take it apart <laughs> so y'all can kind of see what it'll look like after i mean like every time i one curl it it um it stays wavy for like three days. I love that. I freaking love that. Also, um, shipping time. So I ordered this at midnight on a Sunday. And I got it on like Wednesday afternoon, like 12 p.m. And I'm in Texas now, but I was in Tennessee at the time. So I thought that was pretty cool. That was that was that was hella fast. So overall, I would definitely say this is a win. They just need to be honest and be like, hey, this is like mixed fiber or whatever. As I'm like raking through, I got some shedding, but keep in mind I did just plucked it again today in the front. So but on a regular, it's not like shedding like a dog. You know, you don't have to worry about, you know, regular day your stuff is shedding. You don't have to worry about that. Oh, it's, I mean, I like it. I do like it. I'm just like, I can't help but imagine like what it would look like if it was actual Indian hair. But I mean, it is what it is. I have Indian fingers, so I can't trip. But this shit looks good. It really does look good, though. But then again, I did, you know, I got the flick of the wrist, you know. And then I had my one curlers on high, so, but like I said, I feel like this is a good mixture of human and synthetic hair. Like, I don't care what they say. This is not fucking human hair. It's definitely not. Like I said, y'all, this is a makeshift, so don't be trying to talk bad about me. Like I said, it looks good overall. Like, you know, look at it. It's really fucking decent. I like this shit. But yeah, definitely, if you get over, if you get over, I don't know, this is 20 inch. This is the longest one they have, and I'll leave the link in the description box. But if you get 20 inch like I did, please do not get the lowest density. You actually might want to do the opposite and get the highest. Um, but yeah, y'all, don't dog me too bad. Like, I don't fucking wear frontals. This is my first frontal. It's not glued down. 
it's a gel down and I think it looks damn fucking good. Okay. <laughs> so let me know what y'all think. Ooh, I'm gonna tease this, but not tonight. Cause I want it to stay like really nice and waving. I love it. Y'all, I'm telling y'all the best part about this wig is that it doesn't shave like a shave. It doesn't shed like a dog and it holds curl good as fuck like oh my god mm, yes okay that's my fault though what brought me to a stereo was there like some type of curly weave or some shit and i just had to do something different but it still look good though Good. Alrighty. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know what y'all experiences with Asteria hair is. Like, I'm new to this, so let me know. Oh my gosh, I gotta stop lip popping. I don't know where that little habit came from. But anyway, y'all. I just don't want to get out of the video looking like a fool. Ooh, I'm so clumsy. Anyway, but hey, it is what it is. I don't have no, I don't have no software and all that stuff to cut out my goofy moments. So <laughs> this is the real me, y'all. It is what it is. Okay. <laughs> Um, anyway, though, I hope y'all like this video. Please comment and let me know what your experience with Asteria hair has been. Like I said, overall, it's a good deal. I'm very happy. Um, I've had this wig since October 23rd. So, I'm definitely going to get my money's worth. But I, I just strongly feel like at some point, because of this right here, but you can't see it because, like I said, I got it pretty, got it covered pretty well. Or I don't know if y'all can see it or not. Anyway, it's kind of thing right there. So I feel like at some point I will have to go in here and like sew some of my own tracks in. But it's cool. It's an overall good deal. So I cannot trip at all. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, and um. Follow my social medias, y'all. Like, keep up with me. Talk to me. I'll follow y'all back if you're not a weirdo. <laughs> okay. Thank you for watching. Bye.